I've been thinking about how, as a kid, uh, I moved to Texas, and, and, and Texas people, you know, they're, they're very Christian, and Christians tend to be accepting, and that's true sometimes, but I feel like Texans ain't too accepting a lot of the time, especially if you play sports. So my dad always told me when I was growing up that he, he, he walked onto the big red machine baseball team, which was the best baseball team in history. That was Pete Rose. Uh, Pete Rose isn't going into the Hall of Fame because he cheated, or no, he, he gambled on, on a baseball game while he was playing baseball. And so um, all I'm saying is uh, uh, they, they had Johnny Bench and they had, uh, who, who they have, uh, no, who, who's that catcher? Oh, Johnny Bench was the catcher. Who they have, that, that black guy, Lou, uh, God, uh, I can't remember. They, they were good. They were really good. And uh, so my dad walked on that baseball team and he trained me how to play baseball. And I, I trained uh, watching Tony Gwynn. And, and I, I trained how to really hit the ball right. And what's crazy is after I talked about that, I, I was watching TV and on a baseball game, they, they talked about how uh, you actually want to swing down on the baseball to hit line drives. I'm a line drive baseball, uh, baseball hitter. I hit 756 on B team uh, as a sophomore in high school. They, they put me on the B team, which is the freshman team. But I hit 756, and I didn't get moved up until the playoffs. And in the playoffs, I went two for three, and I won the game for us. I hit a line drive, double or triple. I mean, the game was over after that. All right, so uh, I have always played on a team one year older than me. Always. My dad always like, put, put me on traveling teams. I played year-round baseball. I'm like, I was the craziest baseball player. And then I moved to Texas, and I, I got mistreated. I feel like, and I got put on the B team, and then I never got moved up to A team, and then I never got, but really I, I never got moved up to varsity, because I would have been like probably top five hitters on varsity. But um, I never moved up, because I feel like this guy was an asshole, and I always thought he was a cop. I feel like really uh, he was Christian that don't accept outsiders. And that's why I've been thinking about it. I don't want to be a Texan anymore. I don't really like it. I feel like, uh, I don't want to run as a candidate from Texas anymore. I should run as a candidate from Colorado. So, yeah, I don't know. I do like that character sometimes. Sometimes I don't. All right, China. My, um, my understanding is the Chinese military is actually the most angry about me out of anyone, which is the most surprising thing I could hear in this whole situation, considering um, Russia does business with a lot of people, and this can disrupt international trade if I start a war. But China is the one that's mad about it, even though China is the country that benefits from what I'm talking about. So, uh, and what I'm talking about is um, World War III. Um, but I feel like China's real concern is the Russian Navy. Um, and what I'll tell you is, I feel like Russia can use whatever they want as long as they don't use nukes. And if that involves, um, um, you know, property damage, then uh, you can have reciprocal property damage. But I feel like Russia's plan is right now is to abandon the inland and then guard their coast because they're so navy oriented. So um, that might be a strategy for them. All right, so. This is a complicated situation, and um, people don't like that I have a relationship with the cartel. What I'll tell you is the cartel is like, they're like Christian Mexicans that you would never even know their cartel, the ones that I know. Um, like, they're just like um, normal people. But don't get me wrong, I, I realize the, the war is complicated. I, one guy, man, he, he, he walked up to me when I was in South Texas on the, on the ocean and told me about El Chapo cutting off people's heads with, with knives and chainsaws and stuff on TV as terrorism. So I understand why people hate them, uh, but I feel like um, like what happens is there's the cartel and then there's the sub cartels and then there's the sub, 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 sub cartels and then like there's like, which are like gangs. And uh, at some point it's very difficult to control um, low level gang behavior um, unless they're, um, like mid-level gang at least. But uh, I feel like the cartel generally tries to keep things peaceful in Mexico, but uh, sometimes it doesn't work out that way. It's kind of, kind of like um, at one point things got very violent in Colombia. If you've ever watched the show about 
Carlos Escobar, like things got very violent and it sounds like things are pretty pretty peaceful there, even though my understanding is that the, like the, 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 like the drug cartels aren't even in charge in the Colombian government, just like they're not even in charge in the Peruvian government. But you never really know. Um, you never really know. Um, because you wouldn't even think Venezuela would be involved with the drug business. But then you know, but then I know that um, Maduro's uh, like cousin or something got busted with like a huge amount of coke. So, I mean, you never really know who's in, who's in what business, but sometimes it's better when people are not in that business. It's kind of nice having Pompeo be like, hey, you go deal with the rest of the world. And then Pompeo's like, oh my gosh, I'm like blackmailing this guy. But I don't even think Pompeo was really the one blackmailing him. I think he's the one that's in on the blackmail. And that's the real issue is if you're in on it, um, in my mind, it's the same as doing that, doing the blackmail because this is the United States of America and you swore to defend the Constitution of the United States. That, that's why people defend. It's not. I swear to passively accept this, the Constitution of the United States. I swear to to defend the Constitution of the United States. And um, I feel like Pompeo hasn't defended the Constitution of the United States, and and neither has a, a lot of Congress.